If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, V Chain family. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video, guys. We're talking about climate change today. Uh oh, go ahead and get that dis get that dislike button ready. <laughs> I got my hot tea, honey, locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. So, in the light that Coin Telegraph has written a amazing article about V Chain getting into the climate arena. V Chain launches a blockchain platform to encourage carbon data reporting. We obviously have reported this story ad nauseum the past month, so we're not going to get in too much of it, but this is pretty cool. Cointelegraph has picked it up. Um, really nice article. I wish they would write nice articles like this when talking about Cardano, but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Today, guys, we're going to talk, take a look at a short video on YouTube. I'm probably going to get copyright striked for it, but I think it's important i think it's important to know and to understand what climate change actually is and how it's going to affect the world in the future now i know some of you guys don't believe in climate change i know some of you guys don't agree with climate change and that's okay um i i hope that you open your mind to the video that i'm about to play you don't have to agree with every single thing in the video but there are some very, very interesting points that if you are not on the climate change side that you could and want to consider. Like, for example, climate refugees, especially if you're in Europe. And if you're in Europe, my homies in Europe, all my homies over there in England and France, all over there, you guys should really care about climate change because if the world gets too hot, you know, people from the Middle East, they're going to have to come somewhere. And uh, there's going to be a lot of climate refugees. And even in my country, Florida, uh, my, my country, the United States, there's predicted to be climate refugees as well. What does this have to do with V-Chain? I know you guys are saying, what does all this have to do with V-Chain? They're getting into the climate reporting. And this is why we're seeing a shift towards climate neutrality. When you hear Elon Musk come out and say Bitcoin uses too much energy, when you see a, a push for renewable and sustainable technologies, this is why. Now, I want to play the video here, guys. I think I should play all of it. It again is probably going to get copyright strike, so it's the risk I'm willing to take because this is very, very important. Let's take a look. So this video here is by uh, The Big Think, um, and they're a very, very big YouTube channel, so I know they got this monetized. <laughs> but uh, the Earth will be, the Earth at two Celsius hotter will be horrific. Now here's what the Earth at four Celsius hotter will look like. So I think right now we're about 1.5 degrees Celsius hotter than we're supposed to be due to greenhouse gases, carbon emissions, and things of that nature. China, by far, is the world's worst contributor to carbon emissions, which is why they're trying to reach their peak by 2030 and trying to become completely carbon neutral by 2060. Will it be too late? Who knows? All right, guys, so let's take a look at this. It's very important. Again, if you don't necessarily agree with climate change, I still recommend that you take a listen, you open your mind, you open your heart, not to convert you, just so that you can get a little bit more knowledge. And if you don't agree, please comment down below why you don't agree. Um, you know, I want to learn too. Again, you know, everybody knows I'm a dirty hippie liberal, but I still recognize conservative talk viewpoints. I actually read a book called How to Not Be a Millennial. And uh, that the gentleman who wrote that book is a staunch conservative. While I didn't agree with everything that the gentleman said in that book, it was very, very transformative. And I did learn a lot. And, you know, I, if you agree with 90 percent, 
of what that person says. And the 10% that you don't agree with makes you a little bit eh, it still does not discount the 90%. All right, let's move on. One billion climate refugees, guys. That's a scale that we have never seen in this world. You think European politics are strange now? You think these things are unstable now? Imagine if we get one billion refugees because their part of the country is too hot to serve, to grow crops, too hot to work outside, too hot to just live in these areas uh again i hearken to florida you know florida's going to be underwater by former alma mater florida is going to be underwater if we do not get these um climate goals adjusted these why these esgs these environmental state these environmental sustainability goals these grades for companies for being sustainable these this is why there's a big push towards this investors see the science investors see uh, you know, the dangers with climate change, and they're trying to force or strong arm companies into complying uh, with these ESGs. Um, let's continue. Mm. We're talking about a refugee crisis that is almost certain to be 100 times as large. And it comes at a time when most nations of the world are retreating from our commitments to one another, retreating from our organizations and alliances, retreating from the UN, retreating from the EU, and um, embracing xenophobia and, and nativism and nationalism. That's especially concerning when you think about what's ahead, because there are going to be many more people in much more desperate need in the, in the decades ahead. And if we don't welcome them, We'll be committing real moral crimes that, from the vantage of today, seem unconscionable, but which may become more normal as we move forward into this new transformed world. When we talk about worst case scenarios, there are a couple of different factors at play. One is what humans do. This is the most important factor. Um, will we change course? Will we continue to burn coal? Will we continue to produce fossil fuel emissions? Um, the UN says that the track we're on now, the trajectory we're on now, is likely to take us to about 4.3 degrees Celsius of warming by the end of the century if we don't change course. 4.3 degrees would mean $600 trillion in global climate damages that double all the wealth that exists in the world today. It would mean parts of the world could be hit by six climate-driven natural disasters 
at once. It would mean more than double all of the war, more than double the warfare that we see today. And the impacts would be in our economic activity, it would be in flooding and um, the, the refugee crisis. There are so many impacts that we have um, we have not really been able to think clearly about because all of us are so reluctant to consider these horrifying outcomes. But the fact that they are horrifying should not make us turn away. They should make us focus on them more intently. We all have all of these psychological reflexes that make us reluctant to consider horrible possibilities. And for that reason, it's more important for us to take seriously the science because we need to fight against those impulses to do better planning and take more aggressive action than we would if we allowed ourselves to slip back into complacency. So, as we can see, the climate crisis, as of sorts, is real. Okay, is real. So, hope you guys get a little bit of knowledge about that in the future of what could occur if <laughs> you know we we don't get this thing under control. Now, why is this important for VeChain? Obviously, guys, VeChain does what one thing I like about VeChain is that they have a good pivoting system. Okay? Um, when the bear market happened a couple of years ago, okay, VeChain could have literally packed it all in and said, you know what, <laughs> this is it for us. You know, we got our millions of dollars in the ICO. Let's go off. Sunny Lou could have literally said, you know what, I'm going to a beach in Japan or wherever he's from. I'm going to a beach in China. I'm sure there's beaches in China along the coastline. And I'm just going to chill the rest of my life and live my life. But they were like, no. Let us build this. Let us continue to create software as a services for companies in order to help them. When Rona came, they could have easily packed it in. They could have said, you know what? Supply chains are done. It's over with. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing for us to build. There's nothing for us to create anymore. The coronavirus has totally shut down all supply chains. They did not do that. Instead, they doubled down. They created the VPass. They created standards for companies to reopen. And another thing too, guys, climate science. Climate change is going to be something in the future that is going to be heavily debated, heavily talked about. And again, VeChain coming in with a solution for companies in order to track carbon footprint data, in order to <clears throat> figure out how they can burn less <laughs> data, burn less carbon in order to create a more sustainable future. So this is why we love VeChain. They are very, very, how do you say, flexible when it comes to this stuff. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about that. Uh, comment down below. Um, climate, the climate is very important. Um, we need to take care of our planet. Because, unfortunately, Elon Musk is not, does not have the uh, resources just yet to get us up to Mars <laughs> in a sustainable fashion. Um, so, President Xi Peng's five-year plan outlined the aggressive effort to move the world's largest economy to a low-carbon trajectory with goals to peak emission output before 2030 as well as achieve carbon neutrality before the year 2060. It's going to be a big, big thing, guys. Um, America is still doing the same, moving more towards green energy, sustainability. Um, so, and you're going to start to see more and more countries do the same. Okay? So if you did not like that video, go ahead and leave a dislike. But before you leave, don't just leave a dislike, guys. Like, tell me why you didn't like the video. Tell me why... I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm a dirty liberal hippie. Comment down below. I'd love to hear it. V-Chain. Featured in The Motley Fool. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty good article here. The Motley Fool is pretty much for normies and stock people. <laughs> uh, but this is pretty awesome. Um... 17 most popular cryptocurrency today by market capitalization, valued at $8.1 billion, has returned to nearly 500% since its relaunch in 2018. Most investors probably heard of VeChain through a from a satirical video called the Chad Supply Chain 2.0. 
Created by crypto comedian and YouTuber Bizonaki. Rest in peace, Bizonaki. I have not. My man has not posted since the crypto dump. I think he's dead, but <laughs> hope he comes back. Anyway, as ridiculous as all this sounds, the content served as free marketing tool for VJ that propelled it in the mainstream crypto status. And then it's going to tell us about why it's important and why you should t consider purchasing. Obviously, I've talked ad nauseum on this channel about what VeChain is, why it's important, and all that stuff. So, I'm not going to get into that. But it is nice to see VeChain being featured on a very popular website like The Motley Fool. Is VeChain a good investment? I don't know. It just depends. <laughs> Do you believe in what is to come for supply chain? Do you know what VeChain is? Do you know about the two token model? Do you know about the ecosystem? You have to ask yourself all these questions before you jump in. And finally guys, we've got Crypto Vegeta here with a nice little reminder of how far we've come. January 1st, we were at two cents. February 1st, we were at three cents. March 1st, we were at four cents. April 1st, we were at nine cents. May 1st, we were at 20 cents. June 1st, we were at 12 cents. July 1st, we were at nine cents. And August 1st, we were at eight cents. Now, we're at 12 cents. 600% <clears throat> increase from January 1st. I'm cool with that. And if you've been hodling for longer, <laughs> You're more than cool with it. Guys, just hodl, man. I know there's a lot of coins pumping and a lot of this and that and a lot of noise. But you came this far, didn't you? You believed in something, didn't you? Don't stop believing. I wonder if I get copyright striked for that. Anyway, 941 days to the next Bitcoin block having. Taking a look at the markets here. That is wrong. <clears throat> Taking a look at the markets here, guys. Things are looking great. Cardano's on its way to $3 again. Dogecoin, meh. Let's take a look at good old VeChain. Still here at $0.12. Cents. Holding strong. When in doubt, zoom out, guys. Things are looking pretty good. For the past 180 days. Looks like we're on an uptrend. This is what we'd like to see. Proof of Authority 2.0 still to be coming out soon. Can't wait to see it. Coins are looking to be recovering pretty fast. Terra up about 15%. Anything major pumping today? <clears throat> R Weave, Terra, Safe Moon, Cardano. Oh, and shout out to the person that sent me some AMP information on Twitter. Um, I'll take a look at that. I have not gotten a chance to look at AMP yet. But thank you to you guys. Safe Moon is mooning, not really, but <laughs> Safe Moon is safe. Uh, Tezos is doing well. Shout out to these guys. Um, and yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, it wasn't normally what I do here, but I like to keep these videos informal and I like to spark conversation, even if we don't all agree. We still love each other. We are still a part of the VeChain family. Let me ask you this question. Do you agree with everybody in your family on every single thing? Probably not, but you still love them anyway, don't you? That's how I feel. All right, VeChain family. Hope you enjoyed the video. I love each and every one of you. Don't let your memes be dreams. I'll be talking to you soon with the Cardano updates. You don't want to miss it. Have a good day.